weird places, but the sinks work. Twin Galaxies. Will be on now. Hey, welcome to uh, Intercourse. Uh, I'm Kurt Sutter. This is sort of our revamped um, what the fuck um, intercourse because inter involved, engaged, participatory, coarse, uncomfortable, prickly, um, and generally raw. So we're combining those two things and to do what we do. Um, I want to thank my buddy Jason Hall, who is responsible for uh, for this uh, live stream and his uh, the website Twin Galaxies, um, which is primarily uh, a gaming website. Um, that's my uh, uh, initial connection to Jason. Uh, we worked on a project together uh, uh, over at Warner Brothers. Um, um, and uh, um, we got to know each other through gaming, and uh, it just seemed like a good match. Um, and I will obviously be talking about uh, SOA stuff, but also uh, about gaming, too. Uh, I'm a big gamer. Uh, I'm sort of old school, mostly uh, PC. But um, and, uh, and one of the things I wanted to talk about today uh, before we sort of jump into the live chat aspect of this is... Um, couple things. One, obviously, we have uh, the season seven premiere happening uh, very soon. Uh, September, oh God, let me get this right. <laughs> September 9th, Tuesday uh, at uh, 10 p.m. Uh, on FX Networks. Um, and uh, uh, we, uh, uh, we're going to have our fan challenge uh, like we do every year. The idea is um, if we beat uh, the numbers uh, um, uh, by any margin this year and in, in any uh, um, demographic, uh, we will uh, reward fans, uh, fly them out for uh, this year. We're going to do uh, we're going to have a big finale party for the last episode of the show. And uh, uh, I got some good news from the network and uh, the home entertainment uh, component of Fox, which um, uh um, is uh, is part of this fan challenge because it all ends up on the DVD. Um, and uh, I think we're going to try to open it up to a much bigger group of fans in terms of numbers. Um, I don't know the exact amount yet, but potentially uh, anywhere from 20 to 25 fans. Um, unfortunately, right now it's just U.S. fans. Uh, and um, I know we have a lot of uh, uh, Canadian fans and fans in other countries most of whom pirate the show. Uh, but uh, we, uh, 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 the actual um, fan challenge and contest is is really just for uh, U.S. fans. Um, I'll have more information on that in, uh, uh, I think, midweek. We're going to put out some kind of press release with all the details. Um, uh, I do have some information on the SOA game. Uh, I don't have uh, a lot of specifics because we have... Um, um, we have, uh, 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 pieces of the game that have to sort of fall together in terms of, uh, 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 um, uh, the launch of it. And, uh, um, so I was hoping to have like some screenshots and some information about the, uh, the game for this tonight. Uh, I do not have anything uh, specific other than to say that I know it'll be uh, a tablet game, uh, a very high end uh, tablet game. Uh, I've seen some of the demos and they look really fucking awesome um, and that it'll be released um, hopefully uh, sometime October, definitely at some point in the fall, it'll be released. Um, I think next Friday, if we're doing this again, if this doesn't completely blow up in my face tonight, um, and uh, uh, we will have, uh, I'll, I'll have some more information, hopefully the, uh, at least the working title of the game and, um, uh, and uh, some more specifics and maybe uh, some screenshots as well. Um, uh, what else? That's, uh, that's all the information about the game I can give out. Uh, the fan challenge is happening 
you pretty much know everything that's been going on in terms of uh, casting um, for the show. It's sort of been uh, uh, all over uh, social media. Um, and, uh, and hopefully tonight, I think the plan is if you can uh, uh, manage the... Uh, the technology. Uh, I think the plan is for uh, Manson to uh, kind of jump on with us at some point tonight. Uh, I know Theo is in New York. Um, I think he was going to try to hop on a, a Skype line um, and uh, uh, and uh, and chat with us a little bit. But mostly, I wanted the opportunity to do this. Um, I haven't done uh, a what the fuck in 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 got a couple months now. Um, mainly because they were just turning into therapy sessions for me, and uh, and I felt like I, I couldn't continue to burden you people with that. So uh, 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 this gives me an opportunity to do it sort of live, um, and uh, and actually get your questions uh, live, and uh, and answer them hopefully um, or ignore them, and uh, and then all of these um, what the fuck setters we do. Uh, or these intercourse that we do will then be archived on Twin Galaxies, and I think they um, uh, they archive them down to like 15 minutes, so you'll be able to uh, um, you know they'll be archived so you can watch them if you missed the, uh, the live stream, and uh, and we'll figure out uh, sort of how best to do this as we um, as we stumble through this process, but hopefully I won't fuck it up too bad tonight. Um, what else? Uh, I think that's uh, I think that's all I'll ramble on about. And uh, I usually spend about 15 or 20 minutes stammering, and I'll try not to do that tonight. Um, so uh, uh, let's uh, uh, let's uh, open up some of the Skype uh, windows, and uh, we'll um, we'll uh, try to talk to uh, some people and uh, and answer some questions. Uh, if anybody is actually uh, on any of the Skype windows, or perhaps I'll just talk to myself. Um, we have, uh, um, uh, uh, I'm actually reading uh, some of the chat lines here as well. Um, um, and thank you, I, 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 my glasses are awesome. I appreciate that comment. Uh, and, uh, uh, let's see, we have, uh, we have people coming on. Hey, Kurt, this is, yes. uh, uh, the, uh, producer in a box, the hidden, hidden box. Yes. We're, we're opening up the Skype line so that people can call in. We had them closed off. Okay, great. Yep. For the people who are watching, uh, you should see some Skype buttons. That you can click, it will activate Skype and call in automatically. Um, if you don't have those buttons in front of you, all you have to do is open up Skype and type in uh, TG Live one or two or three, and it will call in, and you can talk to Kurt, or Kurt can kick you off. <laughs> I, I'm just reading some of the uh, uh, um, comments, and yes, it's really me, and uh, that is a cut in the background. That's my uh, that's my SOA cut, and there he is. Do you see me? I do. You bright? I feel bright. You are bright, but you're always bright, my friend. You mean intelligent wise or just <laughs> just generally just uh I think you're always sort of uh you're you're a bright light in my life. Look at this. The crow flies straight. I know you like this my crow. There he is. Wow. What uh uh where are you? I'm at my place, but I've painted yeah. since I've been here. Oh, there oh, we are. Oh, you got, you got, you got him in there. Oh yeah, him. we're in a, we're in a woman's bathroom I'm, in upstate. And what do you mean him? I'm him now. Jesus. Well, I can see both of you. Actually, <laughs> well, I, I, I thought. Fucker. I thought, I swear. I thought, was, I thought that he was your penis. He is. But he's on my penis. Our pants are on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where, right. where are, where are you guys? In a woman's bathroom. We just said. Real. We're in a woman's bathroom. Serious? You'd like to see? Yes. In upstate New York? Wow. Yeah. You're in a in women's there. bathroom. You looking for tampons? There are no women in here as of right now. <laughs> that is, you guys, you got to lead with like a better thing. It's like we're with women in a women's bathroom. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, asked, I asked them already. They all declined. 
It's it's very who's the lady of pop? Okay, say hold on. Can't hear anything. People, they're everywhere. So yes. Sonic, how are you, buddy? I'm good, buddy. I'm good. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us on whatever the fuck this is. But uh, uh, where are you guys? Where in upstate New York are you? Waterton, New York, just below uh, Kingston, Ontario. Why? Uh, and what? and what? And why are you there? Because we're doing shit for you, Sutter. We're signing fucking autographs and oh. me and the babies and the, you know. Oh, two two thousand people in three hours for, uh, yeah. for to see yeah, things there. Please, they were, they were pretending like they're not there, trying to have sex with drunken women. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the truth, <laughs> Nancy. Where are you? Somewhere in some lair? Are you in a lair? Where is he? I'm at there. home, wearing my 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 Texas tuxedo as yeah, Charlie. I got a Texas tuxedo now myself. Uh, I, don't, I don't have my pants on right now, so I'm cool. This is the closest thing I've ever had to a menage. I just want you to know. And, <laughs> and I, I'm between. I have. I have a. I have a beautiful blonde in the corners watching me. Yeah. And then I have. Uh, working. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So should we get up? Should we see if she has a question? Being she's the only one that clearly is is bothering to join us. It's 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 three of us and this and this young woman above. So uh, honestly, I just want gloat material because my fiance got me into the show whenever it started, and I'm talking to you. So you have, do you have a question? Um, I wish I did, but I'm kind of still shocked. So if I think of something, I'll let you know. I'm, I'm sure Theo can can. Can yeah, Theo, definitely. Go, Theo. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. And, and uh, <laughs> I feel like we're, we, we should be like a camp where we say over, like walkie-talkie, so we know when we're done talking. Right. Oh, you flipped up your, oh, I flipped up your glasses. Ah, that's very, that's very techno. Um, we have somebody else here. Uh, somebody else has a question in the. What are you? Somebody else has a question in the corner up here. Uh, number three. The Marty. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Mr. Manson? So I guess you said fuck it with the bucket. Oh no, I'm gonna do the bucket. It's just I didn't want to overload. Today was the day that I have to deal with this more important deal, which is. Uh, my day job with my boss man right there, Kurt Sutter. Awesome. So I'm gonna do the bucket later. Rob Patterson, <laughs> kid, boss of me. I, I refuse to do the bucket. No, I just, I just wrote you? a check. Theo, did you do the bucket? I, you know, uh, who's got time? Who's got time to do the bucket? Been water okay. skiing a little bit of hiatus in your big show, Kurt. Who's got time to dump cold water on my head? That's we did, true. We did. We did. We we did a lot of donations for ALS. Yeah, we and, did. And uh, you know, the the truth is, you know, he wanted to show everybody his beach body, but uh, we're gonna just stick with the donations of this uh, for ALS. Right. I hear you. I hear you. I've been uh, I've been called out like three or four times, and now I don't care. Yeah. 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 I here's what I feel. I feel like. Lou Gehrig is even bothered by all of this. Is that wrong? They, they, did, they, did, they did raise a ton of money. A lot of money. 600000 I know. I'm kidding. I kid. I kid. I did. I wrote the check. <laughs> I, just, I just couldn't dump a bucket on I my head. I think like throwing baseballs at people's faces because he was a baseball player, right? He, he was. That's very good. <laughs> he, was. He, was. He, was. he played baseball. That's um, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, we have other questions. Let's open up uh, number two. Number two. Is that me? That's you. That's great. Hi, I have a question about Jack. He didn't have to prove himself to Ron Tolley, right? Actually. Yeah. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Dark haired girl, I'm stop. Um, Wait. so is that gonna be a turning point for Jax when he has to prove what he has to to Ron's character? Uh, I'm sure I have an opinion about that, and Manson has a completely different opinion about that. But um, uh, I wouldn't say he has to prove himself. I think um, the character of Tully for us is, uh, you know, he's a shot caller that's in the prison system, and 
you know, so much of their lives and so much of, um, of how they do business um, uh, uh, originates or, or travels through the prison system. And I think sure. now that we've basically killed everybody else that was in jail, that I, I, I really, you know, I wanted to create a character that has some weight um, and that Jack's, you know, um, would have to engage with. So throughout the, throughout the course of the season, um, he has uh, these, um, I don't know, like, I guess Tully's in four or five episodes. And uh, so it, he, uh, <laughs> or Mads, it's like, uh, no, he's in 11 episodes. Uh, he's, uh, uh, How much so throughout the course of the season, um, he's sort of pulling the strings of what's going on um, uh, with, uh, you know, sort of uh, the white supremacists. And and uh, um, and Jack sort of has to navigate around that relationships. And and like all relationships, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes there's conflict and sometimes there's not. So uh, um, but I, I don't know if it's a turning point as much as it is a critical relationship in uh, in Jax's sort of um, uh, agenda this season, if that makes sense. Would you say that's true, yeah. Manson? Um, I'm. You know what? The way that uh, that, that that we do things, it's always. I've learned a lot from Paris. The you know, that's directed some of them and most the bulk of the bunch. And, and I've also learned a lot from Charlie, but it's, it's very hard being a newcomer on the show with someone who's obviously been there the whole show. So he, he gives me a lot of advice and we always have this look, but we had a punching contest and he, I still have a knot on my arm. We were, it was very like, sort of like high school. Right. But, yeah, I've been it smart was enough like to take that stuff, and and he, you know, it's hard. You you create these great characters, and you got great actors, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. And you know, I, you notice that I've lost my southern accent, but I'll retain mm. that when we get back to. It. But um, I was really impressed by the scene that we won't divulge that uh, Kim did, uh, which was I expected it to be something else. Kim, you're great. Some broken style, great. And but, Kurt, I just think that mostly uh, the character. I don't really know how to develop it, so that's why I asked you. And you know, I'm, you know, I'm a newcomer to this, but I know how to act as an asshole and act on stage. But I'm, I'm trying to act as the character that you created, and. No, it's, it's interesting just watching, you know, I just watched, uh, we just locked episode six and, you know, even the progression uh, in those first few episodes, uh, um, uh, watching the work uh, in episode six, I could just tell you were much more comfortable with the character. You had a much better sense of who he was, you know what I mean? And, uh, uh, and you, Thank you, yeah. And, uh, um, and my favorite line, I think, uh, and I won't divulge the line, but you know what line I'm talking about in the that one scene. With C, episode one. No, no, in, in the la in episode six, oh. when he asks you about, you know, uh, about, um, uh, uh, you know, oh. what what you really represent and what you're doing, and you oh. say it's all about protecting something, and and uh, and and that's I think that's my favorite line in in uh, in that episode, and and uh, and uh, you do a great job with that. Um, Thank you. That was a, that was a funny one to me, but I didn't want it to be too funny. Obviously, it's uh, right. Jack, see, Jax is like we we developed sort of a rapport over the the brief times so that we worked together, where it got to be where he he does that wink. Charlie does that wink. Right, right, right. He does that wink that kind of says, "I'm so handsome. It's not right. <laughs> not right. You're handsome." Wink. All right. Let's uh, let's go to a question. Let's go to box uh, four, I believe. The young uh, the young lady in the uh, reddish hoodie. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, like, with like casting all like the guest stars and everything, what's the process behind them? Do you ask them, or is it people who have said they wanted to get involved or anything? Um, I mean, some of the guest cast is just cast like we would. You know any other any other role, and we bring in people and we audition and we we read people. Um, 
Um, you know, some of the more um, uh, high profile ones, uh, obviously, um, you know, I met uh, I met Manson uh, through uh, uh, through Shooter Jennings, who is a mutual friend of ours. And we were working on um, some music together and <clears throat> found out he was a big fan of the show. And um, and uh, uh, I think uh, started you started stalking all my actors and uh uh, um, and, uh, we just had, uh, we just had conversations and, uh, and, you know, it wasn't so much about creating the character for him, but as we were moving through the season, you know, I'll come, all these characters will sort of come up and, and I always try to think what's a, a really, you know, organic, but very, but a, an interesting way to cast it, you know, Thank and, uh, Courtney Love, a, a teacher was nice. Yeah, but yeah. I was immediately, I thought. Kurt and Courtney. Kurt Sutter. It is. It's uh, there's, it's symbiotic, but um, uh, um, uh, but um, uh, yeah. So to you know have Manson uh, come on the show and and uh, and do this role, I you know I love doing stuff like that. That's sort of a little out of the box. Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, I've got to know Courtney a little bit. I was a huge Nirvana fan and. Uh, um, and uh, I actually, you know, I initially reached out to her on social media and we sort of became friends that way. And, uh, um, and, uh, you know, and, and to have a role come up of like, a uh, you know, uh, uh, of a kindergarten teacher or first grade teacher and, and cast Courtney Love is just, you know, it's just, uh, 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 you know, it just all sort of seems wrong in all the right ways. So, uh, um, but it, it, in terms of the other larger roles, um, uh, you know, we we tend to sort of do them in a more, um, uh, uh, it's not just me going, hey, let's get this actor. You know, I have, uh, you know, great directors. I have uh, uh, Wendy O'Brien, who's our casting director, is, is, uh, finds us great people. So those roles are done in a little bit more of a traditional way. Uh, box, Kurt, do, uh, Kurt, do you know that uh, you know what was a, the great surprise was that uh, Courtney and I have a history together, and I wouldn't say that she's very fond of me. We we toured together, and so it wasn't on the it wasn't on the day sheet. And I saw it, and I said, Charlie, you better watch yourself because you already you got you had that season two. Kurt Cobain just had the baby look, and you you better watch yourself. <laughs> She's all right in my book. She's a little bit, uh, uh, I don't know if she's uh, unfond of me. She said once that she hated me because she knew that I was in love with her and I was crazy because I won't admit it. And, and I just said, okay, whatever you, whatever you want to believe is fine with me. If, if I, you know, there's so many women out there that think I'm crazy because, uh, you know, you because crazy. I'm in love with because because I'm crazy. Because crazy is good. Yeah, yeah. And um, if you're rich, that makes you eccentric, so that's good. Too. That's true. That's true. So I'm, I'm just crazy. Uh, let's go to box uh, number three. Do you have a question? Information you want to release about JT's writings, his manuscripts, is like a book. Yeah, I will. Um, you know, we just did a press release this week about um, uh, uh, we're going to do. Here's what ended up happening. My plan was always to sort of release the life and death of Sam Crow at the um, at the end of the series and to document that and what that book was and what those letters were. Um, but he, but here's ultimately what happened is as we start thinking more and more about doing this prequel um, uh, on the first nine, which will be, you know, at this point we're thinking, I'm thinking anyhow more in terms of being just a one-off, like a mini series, like maybe, you know, either 10 episodes or two, eight episode seasons or something. I, f I felt like to put out that manuscript with his history before that aired, was going to handcuff me too much. Do you know what I mean? And and I didn't want to step on on what I could possibly do with that. And yet I didn't want to counter any kind of mythology that I put out there. So my plan now is to wait until we do the prequel and and then put it out because we'll actually see my senses the end of that 
um, the end of the prequel, we'll see John Teller starting to produce that manuscript, or at least the process in beginning the writings. Um, so I think w what we've decided to do for fans is we're putting out um, this sort of monster um, uh, uh, like coffee table book um, at the end of the season that will have um, uh, interviews with all the all the actors. It'll have all this back um, behind the scenes photography. Um, it'll be you know it'll have um, some of the um, uh, lifts from some of the scripts. It'll be a sort of uh, um, a really um, uh, uh, all inclusive um, fan um, book. You know, and I, and although it's obviously not the manuscript, I felt like I wanted to at least give people something, uh, a piece of the show at the end. Um, but uh, it really was about trying to preserve story and mythology, so I don't sort of cross paths and and uh, uh, and step on uh, and, and step on potential ideas or story for for the prequel. So that's sort of where that lives right now, if that makes sense. Yeah. Theo, are you guys, uh, are you guys leaving or? No, we're trying to we're trying to figure out a way to sit on a sink or on a counter. That sounds that sounds really unusually. Uh, well, but, but if you sit on the sink, it's gonna break. Uh, I it's so I... peculiar. <laughs> this has gotten more. Peculiar. I've never been in a woman's bathroom before. It's oh, so yes, strange. Yes. I can't tell you, Eminem. Yes, you have. <laughs> you have been in a woman's bathroom before. Yeah. You know? They do have him last night. <laughs> <laughs> we found him in here. I didn't yeah. even know he was in town. Uh, but Kim Kirk had to petition to play the young Unser in the prequel, by the way, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a, I'm just watching the scroll, and, and clearly somebody that has no idea what the fuck we're doing just typed, what do these guys do as jobs? <laughs> 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 there it is. There, that says it all. That's the name of it. Yeah, that is, what the fuck? What the fuck are we doing here? Um, <laughs> it's almost time to wrap. Here's what I'm going to do. There's one more question, uh, and I'm going to put out. I'm going to put this question out to uh, uh, to Theo and Kim. Um, uh, if you could do an SOA crossover with any other show, what show would you do a crossover with? I think that would be the with with uh, our peeps that we were just with the crazy psychotic fans of True Blood. I thought that was really cool. To uh, I thought that would that's like a perfect fit crossover with us oh, and yeah. True Blood. That's really I cool. Charmed. Yeah, or or, but you know you could see Tig on like any show. Actually. Game of Thrones, The Newsroom, <laughs> The Americans, CSI Buffalo, CSI. Yeah. CSI, Cyber CSI. So and this guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, watch. Come on. And here's one more question for uh, this question has been coming up a lot on the scroll uh, to you, Manson, about your Hollywood novel. Is that coming out soon? Uh, yeah. I've decided to to consider making it into a mini series inspired by you doing your long form thing but i think that i need to recruit somebody i'm not naming any names kurt setter that could, could uh, <laughs> so it's mostly a romantic science fiction novel about uh things that would involve uh <laughs> <laughs> Is that coming uh, from your house, Manson, or from Theo's bathroom? I can't no, tell. That, that's him. Not my house. My house is silent. <laughs> yeah. Kim, got... Kim's in the Kim's in the stall. Oh, uh, okay. Kim, All right. it, it, you know, Kim can get away with going in the bathroom. So could I if I used my Marilyn, Man, Marilyn girl name. But I think it sounds too sissy. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, this has been almost fun. Uh, <laughs> That's a good setter we know. That's a good setter. Uh, but uh, I will uh, thank you, uh, Matson. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to uh, uh, to figure out the technology here and join us. And uh, hopefully we can do it again. Theo and Kim, thank you yes. so much, guys, well, for uh, taking time out. You you're, you're busy, uh, and I and I think it's fantastic. You're in a woman's restroom. I uh, that, that's a big bonus in my book. 
And, uh, uh, this guy's and, out of uh, control. And I know, he's completely out of control. And I want to thank the three people that actually showed up for this tonight. I really appreciate the, uh, the fan dedication. And uh, uh, we, <laughs> we will... Uh, uh, we will continue to, to do this and, and put out the information. The Reaper crew, there we go, SOA gear. Um, and uh, um, so uh, I, will do, uh, I will do our official um, um, sign off here. Um, uh, we will continue to do this. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, we will continue to do this and experiment and uh, get the word out a little bit more. Um, uh, but I appreciate everyone that uh, took the time to show up today. And and uh, um, uh, and we'll, we'll. I think the plan is to keep doing this on uh, on Fridays um, uh, uh, at this time, and uh, we will archive these and cut them down uh, to uh, I think 15 minutes uh, with all the um, uh, pretty much just getting rid of my stammering. And that'll take it down to 15 minutes. And uh, uh, but I uh, I appreciate it. I uh, I really uh, love all uh, my SOA fans and. Uh, and we'll keep uh, we'll keep having some fun with this and figure it out. And uh, and I heart you too. I, I think. Um, or is that how do you do that? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Isn't that a fuck in the heart? Um, but uh, uh, thank you, and uh, um, we'll uh, we'll do this again. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We are here with Monolith Productions, and they have created an amazing game called Shadow.